John, I've got this great idea. We're ready to buy another house. We're gonna buy a second house. Let's buy it in Bend. And when we're not there, we can rent it out as a vacation rental. What do you think? It'd be like an investment. Yes, great idea. Today, we're gonna to show you how to do that. First of all, let's talk about what all these quick references are. Airbnb, Verbo, SDR, stuff like that. Well, Airbnb and VRBO stands for Vacation Rental By Owner are two platforms where you can go to put your vacation rental online where people can find it, they can book, and they can stay in your rental. The next main key term that we're gonna use all the time for a vacation rental is called STR. Now, STR stands for short-term rental. This is really important because anybody can have a long-term rental, 30 days or more. This is under 30 days, so this is a night, two nights, a weekend, a week. Anything under 30 days is considered a short-term rental, STR, and that is where the magic is. Next, let's talk about where you're going to operate your new found bed and breakfast. Oh, and don't really get too hung up on the fact that they're called bed and breakfast. They're not really bed and breakfast. You can just, you know. Uh, because some municipalities require a permit. Yes, a permit. I know, right? <clears throat> so in Redmond, there are no current restrictions. However, that will probably change in the future. In Deschutes County as a whole, there aren't any restrictions. However, Sisters just recently moved to a permitting process that's very similar to Ben's. So Ben's permitting system looks a little something like this. There are two kinds of permits. One of them is a type one. It's literally just for renting out a room. So if you've got a four bedroom house, but you're only using three of them, you can literally rent out just a room for somebody who's passing through town and needs a place to crash. That's fine, no big deal. However, you do have to tell the city about that. The second type of permitting is a type two whole house permit. Now this is what most people think of when we're thinking of Airbnbs and STRs and stuff like that. So a whole house permit basically allows the entire property to be used as you know, a mini hotel where people can go in, stay for the night, and leave. Now this gets a little bit more detailed and where we're basically gonna be spending the remainder of this video on, the whole house permit. Now there are two main restrictions when seeking to turn a property into an STR. The first one is to make sure that the neighborhood in which the property is located uh, doesn't have an HOA that prohibits using short-term rentals at all because a lot of new neighborhoods do actually prohibit that. Number two, you're gonna to have to make sure that the property itself is actually eligible per the city's requirements. You see, in an effort to make sure that the entire city doesn't turn into one major tourist hotel, all of the SDRs must be further than 250 feet away from each other. Okay, so let's find your next short-term rental. So the city has a map based on tax lots that you can go in and look at. And if the property that you're looking at is red, it's not eligible. If it's yellow, it is eligible. So as you scroll around the property map, and I'll put the link to this in the description below. Um, as you scroll around the map, it's an interactive map. And as you move around, you can see where some of the areas and some of the tax lots neighborhoods and whatnot are yellow. Some of them are red. You can almost see sometimes how, you know, there must be somebody with a permit here because it's yellow all around it, but it's red right around this particular area. You'll also notice that some entire neighborhoods are completely yellow. For instance, Northwest Crossing is completely yellow, but the HOA prohibits um, SDRs from being in there at all. So of course no one has an STR in there because they're not allowed. Other areas you'll notice where some people do have them and some people don't. Finding an eligible property can be a challenge. Let's face it, we are a little late to be thinking about this idea, to be talking about finding a charming bung bungalow downtown or something on the west side. I mean, look at all of that red, but you usually can find some options on the east side of town. Let's say you do find that magical diamond in the rough because they are out there. Well, the permitting and application process for the city of Bend is not easy. In fact, I'm convinced they made it just hard enough to discourage somebody who's not really fully invested in doing this from, from actually completing it. 
You don't wanna get one of these licenses just to kind of hold on to, just in case maybe in the future you'd wanna do this. This is something that you have to be pretty much all in for. So it costs about $2,000 for starters. <laughs> And then you have to provide detailed drawings of the actual floor plan, um, parking assignments. Um, oh, you need a parking space per bedroom. That's an important thing that you must know. Nine feet by 20 feet long is considered a parking space. You must notify all residences within 250 feet that you are turning the property into an STR. And you gotta put one of those big old development signs in the front yard for a couple of weeks for everyone to gawk at as they drive by. Trust me, it's uncomfortable. I feel like I'm gonna get egged or something by my neighbors. And there's plenty more hoops to jump through besides those. All in all, it takes about 45 days to get through the whole process, which really isn't that bad because while they're working on that and getting the permit and the licensing set up for you, you're gonna be busy getting your place ready set up, staged, everything set to go for your first guests. Okay, a couple things to think about. First, that's way more information than I probably should have given you. So in order to reciprocate, I'm gonna go ahead and have to ask for a like, a subscribe. And... Oh, and let us know if you have any other questions about STRs, anything you wanna know about STRs in Bend. Um, drop them in the comments section below. We'll be totally happy to answer any questions you may have. Hey, be sure to check out all of our other videos relating to Bend real estate, uh, moving to Bend, stuff like that, by go ahead and clicking here and here. And then if you want, you can always subscribe. I think that's the best, so you'll never be out of touch with what we have going on by clicking right over there. Thanks guys so much. We'll see you next time.